you know what we're going to do? We're going to play some music and we're going to have some fun. And we're going to start right now. Here we go. Welcome to the Virtual Honky Tonk. Somewhere in the middle of May, 2021. everybody welcome to the virtual honky talk yeah we're in may now sometime in may hope you're doing well everybody at extended care hi hey mom uh happy belated mother's day that was yesterday at least in my realm right now um uh, boy i cut the grass today for the first time holy cow um yeah i almost needed a machete and I wasn't sure whether the uh, the old lawnmower was going to come through for me, but it eventually started. And I got it all cut down, and boy, doesn't it look nice. It's another Pleasant Valley Sunday on Monday. So, all right, well, as I promised, uh, hopefully we'll have some, some fun. So uh, let's start with the... Oh, always, this is always fun. Okay, 
let's keep it rolling, boy. The fun just never ends, really. Pardon me, Joe. I need a favor. No big deal. No heavy labor. Tiny thing, really. Your name on a line. Do this for me. <laughs> we'll get along fine. Pardon me, Joe. I need you to pardon me, Joe. Yeah. Pardon me, Joe. I'm hearing stories. They say I lost, but I'm in my glory. See your way clear. Help a guy out. Just go easy. That's all I'm talking about. Pardon me, Joe. I need you to pardon me, Joe. Oh, yeah. Everybody loves me. At least everybody did. Hey, where'd they all go? Now I'm hearing sirens. The walls are closing in. One thing I need to know. Pardon me, Joe. I must be going. My ride is here, and that crowd is growing. If you want ratings, I'm the best in the biz. You need me to help, well, it is what it is. Pardon me, Joe. I need you to pardon me, Joe. Oh, yeah. I need you to pardon me, Joe, won't you? Yeah. I need you to pardon me, Joe. Pardon me right in the middle.
Yes, I was well. I, um, um, yeah, a little rusty today. Boy, I haven't, uh, I haven't picked up one of these. I haven't picked up this in a couple of weeks. So uh, I will certainly. Um, uh, hope you forgive the uh, the the rusticles. Okay, just uh, forgetting what some of these songs are in and on this one. Okay, well, let's go. Hmm. Here's a fun one. I've been around Thought I'd seen it all I've been to the top of the hill Seen the big and the small But that was before I saw Scary beautiful Long raven hair Golden rose ring Picture the girl next door With some Betty Betty show Devil Beautiful. Some other time, some other place. We might have had a chance. Still, I see her face. It's a scary, beautiful. I know we're worlds apart I wish it weren't so I'm tired of the things She's just getting to know That all disappears Scared Scary, beautiful. Some other time, some other place. We might have had a chance when I see her face. Scary. Scary, beautiful. Nothing else matters to me. Scary, beautiful. Okay, well, how did we spend uh, Mother's Day? Um, uh, boy, uh, a lot of it was just spent laying down because it was a tough week, I have to say. Uh, my, my weekend is now Sunday, Monday. So, Sunday, I was kind of like, oh, you know what? Uh, let's just stay here and do nothing. 
And that's pretty much what I did. So today was the busy day. You know, the first thing I did, cut the grass. And what else? Oh, laundry. Got the laundry all done. Yay. And uh, what else? Oh, I'm sure there are other things. Oh, baked bread. Whole nice fresh loaf of bread waiting for supper. And, oh, um, gee. Yeah, so that was kind of my day. Making up for being lazy yesterday. So, uh, boy. Yeah, I wasn't waiting for the phone to ring, though.
I forgot I um, had some potatoes that were about to take root so I cut them up and uh, I'm gonna have some fr my own ham cut french fries tonight so holy cow these are the big things that are going on in my life I gotta share it with you you know so uh, yeah this is all good this is all good news But I am a slave to my coffee. When I wake up each day, I stimulate my way Down to the kitchen for my favorite brew Don't want no orange juice, that stuff just ain't no use To get me started, there's just one thing to do Take the filter out and grind the beans about Until that smell is floating rich in the air I pour the water in and soon it's buttering It won't be long until I'm human again You would not believe what coffee does to me It's a miracle cure I'm a slave to my coffee I'm a slave to my coffee It goes right to my head and brings it back from the dead I'm a slave to my coffee I'm a slave to my coffee When I get to my job, that coffee's wearing off I need another one, a coffee to go Before I start computing, why my computer's boot I hit the lunchroom for a cappuccino Don't want no Irish cream, that's not enough caffeine I need a special blend, Colombian dark I take it black and hot, it really hits the spot It gives me palpitations deep in my heart this just might be caffeine dependency But it's just too soon to tell I'm a slave to my coffee I'm a slave to my coffee I'm almost feeling fine Fill me up one more time I'm a slave to my coffee 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 Got a problem with that? Featured the steel guitar of Burke Carroll. Hey, Burke. Now I'm going to play you a tune here. This one was sort of like a plan B, if you will. And uh, I'll tell the story about it after. Song. 
like she's gonna toss that main hay hay. I know for certain that she's on her own, and even she's gonna find her all alone. If I could only be the one she'd hold hay hay. I can't. That is the production genius of Ron Dan. Now, here's what happened with that particular song. Uh, it was kind of like I had No More Looking Back ready to go. That was the demo that we had done and agreed that that was going to be the, the single. And I needed a side B. And I had something that I was all set to, to do until I went to England, and this would have been in February 1988, and I went to Cornwall with my buddy Richard, and we just sort of traveled around Cornwall and London, started in London and ended in London, and, and had uh, hilarity and a crazy time. And while I was there, I wrote this little tune about its failed romance. Basically, it's something that didn't wouldn't have any possibility. It's about... Uh, it's like, she's just wrong for me, I'm wrong for her, but darn, eh? <laughs> she, she dances nicely. So that's really essentially what it's about. And when Ron heard the sort of the demo that I did for him, he, oh, we, we got to use that, we got to use that. So that's why we have that one. So now I'll play you the one that Mary Go Round pushed out of the way. And it's, a, it's because Ron didn't feel that it was as commercial and you know I agreed with them then I agreed with them now See the ink of blowing out 
show me where do I sign. for effort a for effort okay so that was called where do I sign and when uh, yeah I came with uh, with the tape of Marigold Round just oh, it was just a, just a little demo and I don't even know if I have the original demo it was just such a hurried thing cuz I came back in February March and we recorded it in June of 88 and I'm not sure what was going on other than working in my day job, which was at a marketing research company, uh, spitting out reports and filling a machine with paper. So that was what really kept the lights on in my little apartment in Davisville. All right, so let's see. What else do we have? Um, oh. While we're while we're down in the in the far reaches, this I recorded in Nashville. I don't usually do this song. I didn't write it, so I don't want you know. Uh, but I did record it. I, I was I here's here's what was going on with with my thing. Uh, there was a company. There still is a company in Peter in, um, in Nashville. And what you would do is you would go down and you would sing a bunch of demos for them and in return you could take one of these demos or three of them or whatever and uh, they would do a nice little release and then you could put it out under your own name and under your label or whatever. And th where they got their money is uh, that they own the song and then they own the, the publishing. So if your song did well, they did very well. So uh, that was the trade-off. So here's one of the songs. And on the upside, I mean, that's probably some of the only time you're ever going to spend in a really top-notch studio back in those days. Now you can just plug in your phone, like you just turn on your phone. Um, so I will play you. This is called Out of the Blue, and I uh, wrote it. it. I did not write it. It was by Cyril Rawson, and I think a friend of his. So let's hear it. <laughs>
that pretty wow i forgot how nice that is that's a pretty little tune written by cyril rawson and his good uh, friend i forget who i'm sorry I, I do um one of his uh, co-writing buddies in nashville which brings me to something that you know what uh, uh I'm, I'm gonna play something that was recorded in the very same studio okay oh boy um, I don't know if I have the actual record version. I wish I did. I, I, I'm tracking it down. But I'm going to play you this. I was there for the recording of this. I'll tell you a quick little story when we're done. And I want to send a shout out to the great Kalita Haverland. This is her. And this is when we were touring in 1987. Well, we hope you're feeling good. We're going to feel good. Before this night's over, I tell you. I'd like to do a song for you now. This is the title track off of my new album. It's called Too Hot to Handle.
Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very kindly. Now, isn't she a nice girl? Yeah, absolutely. So that was Kalita Haverland, and that was her, oh, I, I promised you a little story. So here, here's, here's what it was. It was recorded in January, and I talked about this before. This is the old story about the ice storm in January 1985, okay? So curl up by the fire, kids. It's going to get boring. Um, but we were in Nashville, Cyril Rawson and myself, and um, Barry Haggerty. Uh, local guitar player and I was, I was recording some stuff. So we go down to Chelsea Studios in Nashville. You can check all this. This is, we'll check out. Uh, and we're down. I was recording some stuff. Call, I was recording three songs, I think. Yes, three songs. Any Minute, Take a Chance, and uh, Only Love Survives. And that was in January, like I said, January 1985. Okay, so we get down there. We drive all the way straight through in Cyril's little Subaru and we get to February remember and we say oh can't wait to get to the nice weather in in uh, Nashville we get to Nashville I don't even know if we brought a coat and it's an ice storm it's like they have never seen it was ridiculous there were cars just askew all over the roads everybody just said, oh, I'm going home. So they would just, uh, you know, leave the keys in the car just wherever they were, and the, and the streets were just littered with abandoned cars. And it was an ice storm, and they don't have any salters, no sanding or anything like that. So the city shut down. And we were in the recording studio when this all hit. So there was Cyril, myself. Uh, Dave Hieronymus was the engineer for a while. And then there was a junior engineer whose name escapes me. And there was uh, Barry Haggerty. And a young singer who just happened to be dropped off before this whole thing hit. And her, uh, a, her manager, Mary... Um, oh, geez, what was her name? Mary. Uh, but anyway, her, her, her manager dropped her off just so, to get some, some background vocal practice. Because we were all doing vocals and there was work to be done so and she wanted to get some practice so sure enough okay her name is Eileen so yeah 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 gorgeous gorgeous about 19 years old um but holy cow driven really like you could tell this gal was going places and so anyway she um Kalita got her to sing back up on the song that we just heard too hot to handle well you'll notice that it goes up from A to B flat and uh, she had the higher part to sing, which is difficult. But uh, we had unlimited studio time. So it was a lucky thing because it took a long time for her just to get this, uh, this one part. And finally, and this I'll never forget it, and I learned so much in this one little thing. Uh, Dave Hieronymus was the, je the uh, producer working with her. And he says, you know, why don't you just go on outside, you know, put on your coat, go get some fresh air. I think you have a break and no problem uh, when you come back. So she thought that was a pretty good idea. So she went outside. And while she was gone, he reaches over on the tape machine and just brings it down just a little bit, the speed. So uh, rather than her singing along in the normal thing, it was down just a... S well, anyway, she came back in, oh... Uh, all right, I don't know. So, boom, all of a sudden, he suddenly it's so much easier to sing. Do, 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 boom, got it, boom, nailed it the first time. That's all you needed. You just needed a break. And he's just patting her on the back, you know, saying, hey, great job, great job. Wow, oh, did I learn something there. And that, uh, that young gal went on to become uh, Shania Twain. So that is, uh, that is the absolute, absolute fact. So, but I want to play something that, uh, this is another Kalita song. And check this out. Oh, look. Remains from the party. This would have been January 1987. We've got, we've got evidence here. We had a great time. There was absolutely nobody in the hotel after everybody left the club on New Year's Eve. So it was just the band and Richard and Trevor. 
And of course, the front doorman, Pierce. Oh yeah, ha happy new year to you too. It was fun, wasn't it? It was fun. It was fun, it was like being in The Shining, so I'm told, I haven't seen the movie, but there was nobody else here. We're going to do a song off of my new album. This is called I've Been a Lonesome, all about being alone. Fun band. Let me just tell you the lineup of who that was. That was Ken McCall on guitar. You can hear him say, yo, that was fun. Uh, Mike Dasty on the drums, which was always a roller coaster ride uh, when he was behind the kit. And he'd sometimes just kind of like take over the show. 
<laughs> when when uh, Kalita gave him a microphone, boy oh boy, we were in trouble. But uh, there for a while he was uh, he was pretty, but great drummer, like solid as rock from Cano. And if you ever yeah, check him out, it's very progressive rock, early '70s progressive rock. And um, Dave Murphy on keyboards, I think it was his first touring gig. Uh, he's quite an established uh, jazz guy now in Toronto, but I think he, we called him the kid, and I'll never forget one time Kalita dressed him up, in, well, not one time, he had this long blonde hair, and uh, this, I, I guess you would call it a mullet, sorry, but I guess you'd have to describe it that, but anyway, it was the year, well, it was the 80s, so there was a lot of backcombing involved in hairspray, I remember that, and he came out one night looking like uh, she blinded me with science, you know. Uh, anyway, it was, uh, but I think the music speaks for itself. I think it was fairly good. I had a heck of a time. And I think for the amount of miles that we did, we were terrifically lucky that we all ended up uh, alive at the end because they were, you know, there were some scrapes and bumps along the way. But you know what? I uh, don't think I'd change it. So Here's a song I wrote about knowing when it's time to say goodbye. Lay your head down easy your eyes Let the madness slip away You're safe and warm here You're not alone The world's a world over You lost and won But think of all you have done The horizon calls But you're not all alone Take my heart Another storm is over And here we are Clouds will all blow by Another day is dawning It's time to go Those sleepless eyes The hard work's over You've lost and won But think of all you have done The horizon calls But you're not Take my heart Take my heart One and only time I ever played that song live, well, I mean, with a backup band, well, it, was, it was the most embarrassing moment, I believe, of my entire professional career. Here's why. It's because I was playing guitar and I was sort of backing up somebody else. So it was up to somebody else, a, a, another bass player, 
to actually play that thing. And, and you know, they had tapes and everything. We, they had recordings. And on the day of we rehearsal, it was like, a, it was not even close. And it's like, hey, man, are you going to have, like, I, I can pull the song. I don't, you know, oh, no, man, I'll have it by tonight. I'll have it by tonight. Well, he did not have it by tonight. He, he does not have it still. <laughs> anyway, it, it was just the longest two minutes, three minutes, however. It sounded like it lasted five years. And that was live, too. I was at, um, boy, um, Port Hope at the band shell. And, uh, boy, yeah, I'm glad it was raining and there was nobody there. <laughs> oh, boy. I'm kidding. It was fun. Here's for the Angels of Flight Canada. Wherever I go, I know you're there, whatever I do. I know you'll care, I've got a halo. Wherever I roam, I've got a halo. Wherever I go, one thing I If I need my home, I've got a halo Whenever I call, in the day or night If things go wrong, you'll make them right I've got a halo If things go wrong, I've got a halo away the rain I've got a halo Fly me home on the wings of angels Fly me home on the wings of love Whatever I do for my friends the Angels of Flight Canada okay so gee we're almost at that time where I gotta say thanks for coming by and spending some time here and uh, soon we'll get together soon I keep saying that but you know what uh, they keep moving the goalposts but you know soon we will get together and uh, so let's we're down to the last two the last two songs of the show so um here it is. Here's the here's one of the last two. somewhere but 
we just haven't met Where's that woman for me? Something tells me that she's lonely too And getting tired of running free She wants someone just to hold her close Where's that woman for me? This one will take All us right, home. So no more looking back. Take, one. take one. Must have been good that day.
thank you for coming by. Hope to see you real soon, Mom. Look after yourself. Uh, watch your, wash your hands, watch your back, and uh, wear a mask. I didn't play that today, but you know what I mean. Thanks for coming by. I hope to see you real soon. Bye.